Hello, this is Lodan here from Orthograph. Let me show you the latest version what we have, which we call Orthograph 1. That's our first Android and iOS compatible version. So let me start with a very simple L-shaped room. Now, based on my sketch, everything is going to be straight walls and 90 degree angles. If I don't like this outlay, I can just simply tap on the corner points and modify them anywhere I want. If I want to delete these corner points because I don't need them, I can do that. And also I can add additional points anywhere I want. So basically, you tap on what you need to access. If you tap on this corner point, you have access to that one. Now, in order to make this drawing accurate, I'm going to measure it. So measurement always puts everything in scale. The first measurement you do is going to define the whole drawing. So let me do the first measurement here, which is going to be scale the whole drawing, right? But if I do one measurement here, then only this wall is going to modify. Let me adjust the length of the wall, which is going to be, I don't know, four meters. And another measurement here, which should be two. And the last one is here. Two again. So I don't need to measure all these walls, but I can if I want. And also if I, if I want to make a diagonal measurement, then I can do it simple as that. Six meters, there you go. So based on that, you have a pretty much accurate drawing. If you want to adjust the wall thickness, you can do it the same way as with the other measurements. Just highlight the wall what you want to measure, just like that and tap on the thickness value and crank it up to, let's say, 0 0.3. Here we go. Now, once you have the walls, uh, next thing what you are going to do is adding the doors and windows. Very simple, you just tap on the door element, tap on the floor plan where you want the door to appear, position it by hand, define the opening direction, and now you can measure it. So measuring it would ensure that you have it in the right position, let me say, it's two meters from the corner and the width itself is 1.2 meters. Here we go. If I want to position a, a window, it's the same story. Basically, you just tap on the floor plan where you want them to appear. Now, every element here has a circular menu, which would allow you to modify the opening direction, resize the opening, delete or copy the element. Or you can access its properties, which would allow you to not only designate how it looks like, but also you can add additional features and, uh, and properties to this element, including images, length values, or other, other kind of things. But this applies for all the segments. So if I want to access the elements of this wall, then I can modify them, and this would export into our beam compatible export formats. Now, once I, once I have this um, room here, I can simply add another one by tapping on this pencil and drawing the next room close to the first one. But I'm not going to measure this by hand because that would take some, too much time. So I can bring in a laser distance meter like this one to aid the speed of my work. So it's very simple, you just go to the, to the menu and find the compatible device. Hit connect. Two are now hooked up via Bluetooth. So if I select one of these walls to be measured, all I have to do is to snap this laser point to the position what I want, and here you go, the same value imports. But this also applies to the doors and windows. So if I want to adjust some of the features of the doors and windows, you can just do that with the laser. Here we go. Same value comes in. Now, if you want to have preliminary data on these rooms, then you can just go out to the menu, bring up the rooms and hit this property or report icon up here, which would get you some information about the locational differences and areas, perimeters and volume. But if you want to export this whole thing into a format that you can actually use on your desktop or, or your computers, then you can just hit export and find the format what you are looking for. We have images, PDFs, Excel, and also two CAD formats, IFC and DXF, in order to make sure that you can carry on working on this model in your favorite CAD application. If you want to take a tour in 3D, it's very easy. You just tap on this 3D button and see how what you sketch looks like. Very simple and fast.